My name is uh, Rick. I'm the vice president from Linyang Alibaba Cloud. So first question, who is Linyang? So if you work with the other cloud providers, like, uh, you know, like uh, Microsoft, they have the Dynamics business division uh, on top of the cloud. Uh, we are like them. We are the software arm of Alibaba Cloud. Where we are from? So our team started with building all the in-house software for Alibaba Group, meaning all the Tmall, all the Taobao, all the e-commerce, and the other opcodes. So we started from 2012, building the core data foundation for the whole Alibaba Group, and then we moved to the analytics shared platform, and the commerce platform, and the customer care platform. And at 2017, we thought that the opportunity is mature for us to make all these capabilities available on Alibaba Cloud. And since then, until today, we are already working with thousands of large MNCs and local companies, helping them to build their data foundation, to build their analytics, commerce, marketing, and customer care capabilities. And that's what Linyan does on Alibaba Cloud, in a nutshell. So all these capabilities, of course, we are not doing, let's say, heavy lifted, like consulting or like custom-made projects. We are making them available in the form of software products. So today I'm going to talk about the four core products that <coughs> we provide on, on Alibaba Cloud. Number one is our unified data fabric, which we call DataFin. This is a tool to turn data, enterprise data, into data asset and help them to manage this data asset. Especially in the large language model world, data assets are becoming increasingly important in order for the large language model to work. So DataFin does the work to manage this data and create the data asset. That's DataFin. And all the other three is about how we turn data into business value. One thing is obviously business analytics, and that is Quick BI. And uh, the other two are even closer to business. One is on the marketing, which is our CDP platform, customer data platform, which we call Quick Audience. And then there's another two, which we call Quick Service, which is our customer care platform. So let me start with data fabric. So we all talk about say, the very strong data engines provided by Alibaba Cloud. As my former colleagues was talking about, all the Pi, all the Max Compute, etc. But as enterprises, we know that today we need to balance a lot of requirements when we consider our lake house foundation. We need to balance as a very complex organization, we want to build a unified data standard, no matter it's in our IDC, the private data environment, or it's in the cloud. We know we are handling with a different variety of data. For example, we are talking about uh, the uh, structured data, and we are talking about uh, unstructured data and semi-structured data. That's a variety of data we need to handle. And we talk about the velocity of the data. Sometimes we need to do, deal with uh, stream data, some with batch data. And the last thing is also important, which is the cost. We know that uh, OSS and some storage is very cost effective. But we also know that for certain applications, it's very demanding. We need to sacrifice the cost for high performance. But I think the biggest challenge for the CIO and the CDO is how to balance all this. And today, the key question is below. As I mentioned, can I flexibly choose my lake house architecture, my all the different computing and storage engines, and still develop my data asset and manage them in a unified way, all in the same place? And that's what DataFin does. We call it flexibility and very versatile. I call it for the most complex enterprise requirements because we have the confidence here because, for example, take a very uh, specific industry, the automobile, uh, well, auto industry in China, almost 50% is using this tool for their very complex organization uh, data governance. And we talk about the financial institutions where they have to strictly network segregation of development and uh, production. And here we can even do totally segregated development and the production environments with DataFin, with one-click transfer and publishing. So those are the capabilities specially designed for large MNCs, including multi-organization, multi-data engine, and multi-environment support, all in the same data fabric platform. Unified data fabric, supply, support physical and uh, development and production segregation, and one-click publishing and transfer among different environments. That's DataFin, DataFabric. 
And then we move to the application side. Why is BI? So what's so special about Quick BI? This is the only Gartner listed product in China, the BI product in China for the last five years with uh, keep on moving upwards kind of position. And the start, starting from last year onwards, our key product direction for Quick BI is all in chat BI, all in large language model. So from last year to today, leveraging on Tongyi capabilities, we started to build all the chat BI, and uh, meaning that no matter it's sales data or supply chain data, we make all the interfaces integrated with DingTalk, with uh, WeChat, etc., so that our organization executives, they can just, in a very inter interactive way, get what, whatever numbers, whatever data insights they want, which is different from the past, where we still need to build dashboards and we need to do Excel-related analytics. Here, we are moving to the next new era where things are done in a chat-centered way, which is a Quick BI, Chat BI. And we talk about the customer operation platform, which is Quick Audience. Again, this is IDC on the top quadrant in China. And we are not only working with China local companies, but also a lot of MNCs in China on the marketing side. So what does it do? Number one, whatever APP or mini programs, it does all the behavior analytics automatically so that the enterprises can get all the insights of their users on those APPs and the mini programs. That's number one. It always starts from data insights. And number two is marketing. Here is where Quick Audience integrates the new capabilities of Tongyi large language models, where we make all the marketing content creation automated using large language model. Starting from last year, there are many enterprises in China, including MNCs, leveraging on these tools to create a lot of media con content. Just like in the last double 11, every day, there are million, tens of millions of content created with this tool and sent through all the different e-com platforms like Tmall, like the enterprise's own private ch DTC channels, etc. So that's LLM-based marketing. Of course, for all the customer operations, there's one key thing, which is uh, data privacy and governance. That's why one important feature of Quick Audience is really consent management, making sure that from the behavior to the customer touching and operations, everything has to follow customer consent, consent management, number three. So one example, there are many, many enterprise examples, but I'm giving this example because this is just past the International Olympics Committee using this tool for their mini apps in China. As the Olympics has just passed, they use this tool to manage their end-to-end -end customer engagement, from the behavior analytics to engaging with those customers in a very personalized way, pushing to them the right consent at the right time, and managing and increasing the engagement with the many tens of millions of uh, audience for Olympics in China, in the Olympics which has just passed. And the last thing I want to talk about is customer care. Again, from last year onwards, with large language model with Tongyi, we start to integrate and reform our customer care capabilities. Today, all our hotline and chat features has been upgraded with Tongyi, large language model. So chatbot is nothing new. We were doing this for Starbucks, for all the big brands like five years ago. But at that time, we all know that all those chatbots, they are a little bit robotic. They sound robotic and the responses are too rigid. But from last year onwards, with large language model, things are really changing. The conversation went much more natural and they are much more intelligent as well. That's why today one of our core product direction is really to use large language model to become co-pilot for our customer care agents and to directly interfacing with customers in the chatbot scenario for the online and, chat, chat, uh, and, and hotline. As you can see, we are also integrating with Salesforce in China for our CDP capability and our chatbot and CTI capabilities because you know Salesforce internationally, they have data cloud, marketing cloud, and uh, very comprehensive service capability. But in China, they have the core sales platform and core customer service platform. But what we are complementing them is all the AI capabilities and the data capabilities for CDP and customer care. So for strategic partnership with Salesforce for quick service and quick audience. And this is just 
another use case where we're working with one of the auto company to reinvent how their app look like so in the app if you click it now the whole chatbot experience is powered by quick service and you can see that we are using already a multi-agent based methodology not only to help them with the chat response but also help the customer to even diagnosis what kind of potential maintenance issues the car might have and help them to book the most recent like car checking maintenance to the most recent, uh, most adjacent kind of uh, 4S shops, the uh, car dealer shops. So all the capabilities handled actually by different agents and all those agents are all integrated in the same agent platform and which is uh, already <coughs> included inside Quick Audience and to the customer it's just one smooth user journey with multiple agents, I mean the LM powered agents supporting them. So in summary, we are working with many MNCs in China on those different use cases from analytics to marketing to customer care and for the data fabric. And uh, today we are also working with MNCs in Southeast Asia, in Middle East, etc., for Latin America. And we hope to work with all of you in order to su support more MNCs in the global scale. Thank you.